Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the COUNTIF function, the AVERAGEIF function, and the SUMIF function on some sales figures. So on the screen, I've got some dates, some sales, quantities of sales, and who the salesperson was. And at the top here, I can select a person, so Steve, he's in this period, he's done 10 sales, an average of 1,834, and a total sales of 18,340. So what I want to do is just recreate these three functions, count if, average if, and sum if. Now I'm going to change these references to named ranges. So what I want to do is quickly just highlight all of this area. Now if this is going to be a list that's growing, which it obviously is, I would probably just highlight the whole column and name name them. But for this example, I'm just going to get the computer to name those columns for me. So that's formulas, great from selection, top row only. I don't want to name the rows, top row. So these labels to name these figures. OK. And then what I have here is a data validation list with the people on it. So just to show you how I did that, if I change the color down here to a light green color, go across to the data tab, data validation, move that over a minute, select the option you want, which is list. And then you can either type the list or select it. So I, I selected these four. Now it's probably not best practice to do that on an active list, but I will do it for this example. Those are the four salespeople that work for me, say. So I'll click OK to that, and then they're available in that drop-down list. So now the titles, sales quantity, average, and total. Then do my little grid. Got the all borders up there. If you don't know how to do that, you basically just select what you want from the drop down, right click, add to the quick access toolbar. I've already done it, that's why it's grayed out. Okay, so first of all, quantity. So this is the count if function. So I'm counting down here. So let's get there, select a person. I'll do Steve so we get the same number. So it's equals count if, open the bracket. It's asking for the range. Now I've called it rep. So I can type rep, comma, is equal to what's in this cell. In this case, F6. So that will count how many sales I've made or how many times I've made a sale. And tick that comes up with 10 which is the same as that one now the average if equals average if open the bracket so the range average if the range is going to be this range so I've called that rep comma is equal to Steve in this example comma and then you want it to average sales so sales I've called that sales so I can type you can see it's highlighting it there tick that get the same figure just format that to pounds now the sum if font this is going to give me the total so it's equals sum if so the range is going to be this list again, comma, is equal to this cell, F6, comma, if that's true, we want to add up sales, so I can highlight it or type it. Tick that, and I get the same figure, make it into pounds. So we've got exactly the same, if I change one of these, then you get the, rep, the change there, and this one, this will be the same with cell references. But I think 
using names makes it look a bit easier and tidier. So if you're wondering that these are one, two, one, two, one, two, I've just typed those in. So two items were sold, but it's just one sale. That's how I've set that up. But basically, this is just a very quick video of how you can use the count if function, the average if function, and the sum if function. So hopefully this video has been of use. Thank you for your time, and I'll catch you on the next one.